Sometimes you see something and you instantly know that will be a success. It's all there. The look, the components and this little extra that you can call flair, vibes, spice, something you cannot name exactly but it's there. This happened to me when I first saw the Moreau Antigua Chronograph, a watch that is equipped with a NOS Landeron caliber. So let's begin with the basics. We have a hand wound watch with a case diameter of 40 millimeters, a length lock to lock of 48.6, height of 13.5 and a lug width of 20 millimeters. The watch is equipped with a sapphire crystal, a unidirectional bezel with sapphire insert and it provides a water resistance of 100 meters. Inside is the mentioned Landeron 248 movement. This chronograph comes in two dial colors, soft sand and miho black and the price is indicated with 2082 euros including VAT or 1913 US dollars without VAT. Alright, shall we start with the movement? When you buy on eBay one of these chronograph Swiss models from the 40s to 60s, often made of very thin gold, then inside you will find a Landeron or Venus caliber. These movements are big and therefore these chronograph Swiss are one of the few vintage watches that can reach a case diameter of 39 or even 40 millimeters. Landerons had an excellent reputation as robust, precise, repairable, but they are really old with roots in the 30s and so it took Moreau two years to find an NOS batch in Switzerland. But now it's here with a typical slow beat rate of 18,000 and a power reserve of 41 hours. Okay, now let's examine the entire watch. My personal favorite here is the soft sand, the name alone. And so I will focus a bit on that. I mean, look at this, just a lovely play of colors. Sand, then this faded orange and blue, the little seconds on the left, 45 minute counter on the right, nicely executed. Really looks sunny, tropical from another time, but not outdated, it looks fresh. Note for example the nice combination of the old school logo and the rather futuristic set of hands. Looks like straight out of a 60s science fiction comic book. From these old chronograph Swiss, they borrowed of course their tachymeter scale, not the scale itself, but the design with that font and the little arrow over there. Also the little loom dots are very vintagey. By the way, who are they? Miro is a small manufacturer from Belgium, founded by enthusiasts. It's not a historic brand, but you see here that they are highly influenced by the classic Swiss watchmaking. Back to our timepiece. The bezel looks very modern with that white font, but again nicely integrated in the overall design. See the crown? More a wheel than a modern crown and this is also borrowed from its ancestors. My only piece of criticism is the length. We are close to 49 millimeters, which for some wrists might be huge. This watch will be a very dominant timepiece, but our chance to find this out is in September when delivery will take place. The price? Well, we're around the 2000 mark and that's a lot of money, but as far as I can see, you get a lot of watch for that, so I find it rather competitive. And so let's close with a little warning. Both dial colors are limited to 100 pieces, so if you want to pull the trigger, you should do it now, I'm afraid. And that's the end of this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much and see you next Monday to Watch of the Week.